Briggs. And I'm Thomas King. We're going to show you how to clone frogs. First, you need a frog. Yay! <laughs> then, you need your magic wand. And a little bit of pixie dust. We'll always do the trick. <laughs> First, you rotate your wand over the frog. And then you add some pixie dust. That's the magic touch. And in just a few seconds, any time, just wait a little longer. Just Add a little longer. <laughs> oh, and there it is. Woo! That's like a frog. Yay. <laughs> That's not what happened. In 1952, in Philadelphia, Briggs and King experimented with nuclear transfer. They became the first scientists to successfully clone the frog species, Rana pipian. Nuclear transfusion, otherwise known as nuclear transfer, is a laboratory technique that is used in creating a clone embryo with a donor nucleus. What was Briggs and King's motivation for nuclear transfusion? The first question they wanted to answer was, can older nuclei direct the differentiation needed to create an embryo? They quickly moved to their second question of, does a cell's nucleus remain totipotent as it continues to age and differentiate? Briggs and King experimented to try to find an answer to their question. Now we're going to show you how Briggs and King's perform the nuclear transfusion on the cells. In this plate, we have a fertilized frog egg. In this plate, we have a more mature embryo. First, Briggs and King took the nucleus from the fertilized egg and removed it. So we're going to do that real quick. Okay. Then, once that nucleus was removed, he took the nucleus from the embryo and inserted it back into the fertilized egg. Once the nucleus from the embryo was inserted back into the fertilized egg, it enjoyed its home and developed into a full adult clone frog. Briggs and King impacted the science community greatly. They became a stimulus for the science community to start experimenting with cloning. They were the first to successfully perform nuclear transfer, and they also made nuclear transfer a reliable process to be used by other scientists for cloning. Through Briggs and King's experiment with nuclear transfer, they found that as cells developed, it became much more difficult to produce successful clones. Briggs and King concluded that genetic potential diminishes as cells differentiate and that it is impossible to produce a clone from the nucleus of an adult cell. This conclusion was disproved by later scientists. From their experiment, 40% of the eggs transplanted with donor nuclei developed into successful tadpoles.